Hello everybody, it is me, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and I am back once again with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the last movie of God of the Millennium Era of Godzilla movies. That being Godzilla Final Wars. This movie was supposed to be the last Godzilla movie and to celebrate Godzilla's 50th anniversary. Holy crap. 50 years, and now we're at, at 60. Well, 70 if you're other Godzilla old fan. But, 69, but, you know. And today, we're gonna, I'm joined with Godzilla Final Wars. Hi, Mothra. I'm assuming that one's from the Final Wars movie. I don't really know. That's for design. And, anyways, Angurious Final Wars. Hi. Oh, hang on. Rodan Final Wars. Hi. Gigan. Hi. Zilla, hi, and King Caesar. Wait, that's not the Final Wars King Caesar. It's close enough. So, I got a lot more guests. <laughs> I would have brought Munda, Mung, Kamunga, yeah, I cannot say that. Spider's name, right? I would have brought Kamunga, Kamakaris, Monster X, Kaiser Ghidorah, Manoa, and, uh, who else, who else? Man, I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Oh, and Hedora. And Ebera. But, I don't have them yet. So, this few will just have to do. So, this movie was supposed to be the last Godzilla movie. And Toho even declared it as the 50th anniversary of Godzilla. And they were supposed to be bringing... All the monsters from every single universe. But, um, monsters that I count were not every single monster. Because, well, we had, so far, obviously, the G-Man himself. We have Mothra, we have Rodan, we have Angurius, Gigan, King Caesar. Uh, Manda, Kamunga, Kamakaris, uh, Ebera, Dora. that was just it. Di um, Megalon was not in the movie, Gabra wasn't in the movie, Moran wasn't in the movie, Baragon wasn't in the movie, um, Batra wasn't in the movie, Space Godzilla, Destroya, they weren't in the movie, Bailante, Mecha King Ghidorah, King Ghidorah, um, who else, who else? Mechagodzilla, I think I already said him. Um, Orga, Nigeris. Yeah, I think that's all of them. None of them were in the movie. I'm pretty sure they only had enough money to go for only a few monsters. But hey, at least it includes Zilla. Yeah, a lot of fans were not happy to see him returning. Uh, hey, at least be glad that you're sweet. That Zilla Jr. did better than you did. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Wait, why do you sound like a girl, Zilla? Well, it's not obvious. I am basically a girl in my movie. Yeah, once when I get an actual Zilla Jr., then it will replace this one, the one that I normally use in my videos. And that can one can just be Zilla. Sometimes I, I even accidentally call him Zilla, even though I was supposed to call him Zilla Jr. in my videos, but still. Um, a little history, Godzilla Final Wars. Is that what you're going to do for now on? Yeah, because I'm actually kind of curious. Well, I was actually not supposed to have this design. If you look at my original design, I was supposed to look menacing. I was supposed to look like a damn demon. Oh, yeah. Don't even get us started. That design was terrifying. I still did nightmares about that design to this very day. Same here. Hell, I think Kaiser Ghidorah, I think when he saw it, he was traumatized. He was, like, mentally traumatized. Both mentally and physically traumatized. Seriously? Yeah. I, 
Hell, just a few days ago, I called him up and I was talking to him about Godzilla Final Wars, and then I mentioned his design. Then I mentioned Godzilla's old design. He immediately hanged up on, up on me. He hanged up on. He hanged up almost immediately. He's that scared of that design? Oh yeah. He's that terrified of that design. Honestly, I'm terrified about that design too, but I'm not that terrified. That design was just menacing. That's not even all. I was supposed to have a bit more of a slimmer design with a skull-like face. But, nah, I eventually got this design instead. But I still get comments every single day, like, why can I have, like, my terrifying design? Honestly, I think the film would have been a lot more better if you had that design, but still. Don't get me wrong, you're still my favorite Godzilla little design, but I would admit, I would have liked it better if that design was in the movie. Oh yeah, don't even start it. I would love to have that design be in the movie. Anyways, moving on. Uh, oh wait, you forgot Mogira. I forgot. You forgot about Mogira. Oh yeah, I forgot about Mogira. Well, too bad. I already mentioned all the other kaiju. Well, for starters, this Godzilla movie was unlike all of its predecessors. It was more like, not your typical Godzilla movie, it was more like different. And this particular Godzilla design right here, Final Goji ended the size competition when it came to the Millennium Era. Because Godzilla 2000, GMK, there's Godzilla 2000, and... Kirigoji, they were around 50 meters. GMK was the only biggest one out of the group. It was at 60 meters. But you officially ended that almost immediately because your size is like 100 meters. Mm -hmm. Your movie was unlike any other movie who came before you. Where it was just the typical Godzilla destroying cities and fighting other monsters. This one was just flat out different. It, it and that destroying idea. It was more like Godzilla destroy all monsters all over again. But except cooler. Except all the other monsters were controlled by the Exilians, who happens to be a new group of aliens, by the way, and very popular around the internet now these days. What do you mean by that? Godzilla, Lord of the Galaxy? Oh, yeah. Right. That series. I forgot. Um, which, by the way, that series is amazing. Go check out Dynamania. Dynamania, Dynamania you're the best. Anyways, this movie was just more like a monster battle movie. And not only that, all of the monsters, except for Godzilla, were under the alien's control. And it was up to Godzilla to save the world. Mm hmm. That was something interesting that I found in this particular movie that all the other monsters, except for Godzilla, were under control by the alien. Hey, don't forget about me, Manila. You. I'm. I'm sorry about that. But Manila. No, 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 no. Manila can just stay forgotten. Oh, yeah. Manila barely even does anything in the movie. The only thing he did was convince me to leave the humans alone. That was it. He was flat out useless in that movie. I still get comments every single day like, why is Manila so useless? <sighs> Honestly, the Godzilla franchise would have been better if Godzilla Jr. was the only son of Godzilla and not Manila. Manila should just stay forgotten. <sighs> Anyways. This particular movie was amazing. I loved it, uh, honestly. It was more like a Godzilla boxing match. He was just going left and right, left and right, beating up monsters once when the humans released him. And my god, then the movie turned into Final War. To a real, like, monster war. Or... And not only that, it was just so amazing. 
And the fact that God's Door basically destroyed a planet, a meteor that was basically the size of a planet, a size of the planet, Monster vs. God's Door blew a hole in a planet. But you, Final Wars, you flat out destroyed a meteor that was the size of a planet. Congratulations, Godzilla Fire Wars. You're now the most powerful Godzilla in history. Should it be damned? But hey. Man. I'm going to have a real fun time doing a showdown between the Godzilla monsters, which I still need to do the clips or series. I still need to do that series, actually, now that I think about it. But still, um, this particular movie was honestly my favorite movie, and would still remain my favorite movie. The human characters were okay, in my opinion. They were okay. They were okay. And that ending scene, though, was amazing. I loved the ending. And the soundtrack was amazing. Mwah. Masterpiece. And after this movie, Godzilla was going to take over. A long break until the MonsterVerse came around. And I will say, I love that showdown between Godzilla and Zilla. Yep, that Japan officially showed America, like, say, officially showed America how to do a Godzilla movie. Hear that, Zilla? I showed you who's boss. Yeah, 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 whatever. Don't make me do that again. I will commit Super Fun Wars to do a toy version of that battle. Please no. Then, and I suggest you show a bit more respect for me, Zilla. I hate you so much. And I'm glad that, that, that they listened, because we got the MonsterVerse. If people can start complaining about Godzilla being pink in that movie. Seriously. She ain't got a lot of purple talk, bro, and people were complaining about him. Yeah, that's just flat out dumb. Like, why are people complaining about Godzilla being pinged in the new empire when Shin Godzilla had purple? Was purple? He was purple. Hell, look at Space Godzilla over there. He's purple, and people are not complaining about him. Shut up. Holy crap, Gagan, you actually were, you were, you were actually right. For once in Gagan's life, for once in my life, Gagan, you were actually right. And look at Snow Godzilla, people are not saying that he looks like Frosty the Snowman. Again, he is right. For once in Gagan's life, for once in my life, I actually agree. But for this particular movie, I'm going to give it a solid nine and a half, nine Golden Godzilla stars out of ten. The only thing, the only problem I have, well, the only two problems I have with this movie was making the human characters more likable, and well, getting getting rid of Vanilla. Oh, and adding almost all the monsters. But hey, that's just me. Wait, what about the final battle? Oh yeah, the final battle scene between Godzilla and Kaiserdor was amazing. In introducing a new monster. Two new monsters, actually. What's funny is that people called Kaiser Ghidorah King Ghidorah, but technically his name is Kaiser Ghidorah. Hmm, interesting. So, that's it. I have officially done the Millennium Era, Heisei Era, and Sho Era. Now it's time to move on to the Ra Era and Monsterverse. So, let's go. Good luck on them.